my fight with Kevin Ross was, was a hard ass fight. I mean, he brought it, and uh, I tried to counter everything he had, and it was just, it was, it was awesome. And I said, that's the type of fight I want. You know, those are the type of fights that people remember you by. I think so. Yeah. When when they were calling the decision, I was uh, I was kind of nervous, but at the same time, I like I, I felt like I did well in the fight. My trainer thought I won three or four of the rounds. Uh, I thought Kevin had the last one and maybe the fourth. But, um, you know, you never can be too sure with the judges. It is what it is, right? So, I was like, when they raised my hand, it felt good, man. <laughs> that was pretty much my game plan, was to um, use my defense again. Uh, I thought Kevin was going to press more sooner and uh, kind of fade in the later rounds. But it was kind of like uh, I had to, uh, I, he, he didn't press as much in the, in the first few rounds, so I kind of could use my... Uh, you know my speed and, and my and my accuracy a bit more and um, every time he hit me I just tried to follow up I tried to just block counter block counter you know maybe I didn't have as much volume as, as him but I was I think I was more precise I'm just gonna keep fighting I mean I'm sure there's a lot of other guys at 140 in North America that are up and coming and hungry and um, there's other guys all over the world internationally that I, I you know I, I like to get in with and fight I'm just working my way up to the top man improving every fight keep supporting me I love uh, all the support I get back home and even in even out here I get mad love from a lot of the American fans everyone's really humble and you know they support me well so I just appreciate it and keep keep it up you know it helps me going <laughs>